Hi guys, it's your curious and awkward friend Vasi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video because I will be taking you with me to Amazon Fresh Store, which literally just opened this week in London and you might have already heard about it, but let me tell you this. I was so proud and yesterday I told a friend of mine that I'm going to this super innovative store of Amazon, that it's the first one in Europe and it's the second one which Amazon opens outside of the US. You don't need cash, you just need the app and after that it, it will know the products that you have bought. And she just looked at me and said, yes, I know all this, I used to live in Shanghai and we had those five years ago. It's quite innovative for London and for Europe, so I'm still excited to take you with me. Let's go guys, we don't have time to waste. And let's start with where is the store. The, the first store which uh, Amazon opened is in Ealing Broadway and you can see a map here. And it's quite close to the metro station and after we arrived in there, there was a huge queue. So I thought we have to wait in there for hours, but the reality is it didn't take more than half an hour before we went inside. And before you go inside the store, you should make sure that you have downloaded the app of Amazon and you also have access to this QR code which you would need in order to be able to enter into the store otherwise if you don't have this code basically the door won't open for you and in order to get one of these of course you should have the app and you should also have your personal details which are already in your Amazon account if you have one and of course you would need your bank details as you will pay directly from the app. And let me explain to you how does this store work. And the way in which the store works is that it tracks both products and people. And before you enter, this is the reason why you need to scan your phone because they need to know who exactly is entering and they can recognize in which part of the store are you. And also after that, all the products inside the store are tracked as well. So as soon as you take something out of the shelf, they know which product exactly it is and which person has taken it because of the tracking of the products and the people inside and you might ask yourself what if you take something put it in your bag and after that you decide you don't want it anymore well this is actually not a problem because the system is so advanced that if you put it back into the shelf then it would recognize that the product is being put back so it takes it also out of your account and there is also an amazon hub which offers pickup and returns so you can order something from the website and then go and pick it up from there or if you would like to return something you can just leave it in there and this is also a very smart decision from amazon because in this way they want to consolidate all the returns to have it in one physical space amazon fresh is already planning to open more stores in london and they have also created their own range of items such as the sand the tuna sandwich that i picked up before Okay, it's innovative and we get that, but let's see what the store actually sells. Most of the products that they sell were suitable for a takeaway or to grab something on the go before you go to work or to pick up something on your way to home. But if you can notice, the store itself, it's not very big and it was a little bit more than 200 square meters. It was interesting to see that they have also their own branded Amazon product such as the Night in Sorted or also they had some sushi and I would say pretty good fresh options. However, in terms of prices, it wasn't necessarily very cheap and they also don't have a lot of offers and special prices which I don't know, this is the point where they really lost me. To be honest with you, if you think that you would find something extremely cool or different, it's not really the case because most of the products were supplied by Morrisons or Boots. And in order of the store to be able to track both you and the product inside of the store, it uses a lot of artificial intelligence techniques and it has many depth sensors to recognize your movement 
but it says it does not use facial recognition. However, there are still a lot of critics that don't really approve the way in which Amazon tracks shoppers inside the store. And they say that it will create larger personal data footprint than any other retailer. Once you're done with your groceries, you just go out of the store. Simple like that. But I have to say, it does feel like you're doing something wrong or you're stealing those products. And my final thoughts, was it actually worth it? It depends. Well, if you want to go there just for the sake of seeing how does it work and uh, having the shopping experience, yes, it's totally worth it. However, if you plan to go there to do your weekly groceries, no, this is definitely not the place for you. Also, the products uh, generally have higher prices compared to the other local stores around you. However, maybe in a couple of months when there isn't so much hype and so many many people queuing to get into the store then this might be the right place for you to go and and pick up something quickly before you go home or before you go to work i really hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments down below have you heard of amazon fresh before do you have it in your country have you experienced something similar i would love to hear your experience love you all bye